Hello everyone. I'm Noriaki Yoshida, professor and chair of the Department of Orthodontics and Dentofacial Orthopedics at Nagasaki University, Japan. Together with my colleague Sachio Jinnai, we'd like to share with you the results of our article featured in the May 2023 issue of AJODO. Although many studies investigating the mechanical behavior of loop mechanics have focused on loop designs to produce a higher moment to force ratio, few studies have clarified effects of loop position on the force system. This study aims to simulate orthodontic test movement during space closure and to compare the effects of loop position in association with different degrees of cable bend on tooth movement using finite element method. Two finite element models of the maxillary dentition were constructed with 018 inch slope brackets and 17 by 25 inch tender steel arch wire. The first model was constructed so that a teardrop group with a height of 10 mm and a width of 2 mm was located distal to the canine and different degrees of cable band were incorporated into the loop. The second model was constructed so that a teardrop group was located major to the canine and the gable band was pressed into the archway in the same manner as the first model. All six anterior teeth were retracted at one time by activating a loop by one millimeter. When the loop was pressed distal to the canine, the results showed that even if a gable vein was incorporated into a group, the central incisor showed uncontrolled tipping. On the other hand, placement of the closing loop measured to the canine in combination with the incorporation of a gable vein into the arch wire could provide much better control of incisor movements, such as controlled tipping, bodily movement, or root movement. The study indicated that loop position has more impact on the effectiveness of torque control of the incisor. We would like to thank AJODO for having the opportunity to introduce our article.